What up, YouTube? So coming back for another video on this beautiful hot day. It's hot, but it's beautiful. It's really hot, but it's beautiful. So every now and then, I do experiments on my videos, and somebody asks, will ask me my comments from time to time. Well, how did that turn out? And how did that turn out? So today is all about updating some of my experiences in the garden. So you don't have to wait. We're gonna get right into it. Now this is the. Uh, Mercot honey tangerine that I had all the blooms on it and I was picking it off and it was looking pretty bad. So this is the update on it. Fruit doing good. Fruit doing good. No problems. Got a little spot on that one. We're gonna act like we don't see that. Yeah, moving on. No problem. So that is uh one of the little experiments I did. Turned out good. Let's move on. All right, if y'all if y'all been following me, I dug an in-ground bed and I videoed it. So how how's everything growing in your bed? I got watermelon vines growing all the way out here. I've got watermelon everywhere. Everywhere. Some tomatoes. Fell down. Don't worry about it. After the tomatoes uh, get picked, I'm gonna pull them up. Beans everywhere. That's okra, and that's calendula. And if you look very close, it's about to flower. All right, this is a more recent uh, experiment with my shade cloth, and to my surprise. After a couple days, my leaves started coming back. They don't look perfect yet. It's only been a couple days. But a good idea of what it looked like. See this one here? It ain't looking that good. Well, that's how that one looked. Now she's starting to leap back out. So we're going to chalk that up. Uh-oh. Look here, y'all. I see a hornworm chilling out on my tomato. Can you see him? We're gonna, hold on. Hold on, we're gonna do something about that. So every now and then in the video, you got to stop and take care of business. Business take care of. All right, y'all, moving on with the tour. Let me put this back down. Put that back down. All right. But I, I'm going to chalk that up to a success so far. Um, another one of the things I did, I built a blueberry bed. So are your blueberries okay? Are they alive? They're alive. They're alive. Well, I say that too quick. This will start turning brown. Scratch test, still alive. It's hot. We'll give it some time. Not many leaves on it. It's okay. It's okay. So let's move on to uh, <clears throat> one more experiment, experiment that I did. All right. I had a video about my uh, Pakistan mulberry. Well, it died all the way back and I cut it right at the base so this is the growth so we're gonna talk that up as a success how about that all right I got some very small sassumas that I planted in the ground a lot of people say hey you shouldn't plant sassumas in the ground yada 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 they're alive and thriving another sassuma it's alive and thriving. No dead branches, nothing weird. Another sassuma that I planted in the ground. She's looking beautiful. She's got no problems. Not one problem. We're right, gonna check one more. pomegranate that was doing really bad, and I did the same thing I did with my uh, Pakistan mulberry. Cut it all the way to the ground. 
and she said she wanted to grow. So I let her grow. Yeah, all right. One of my last experiments. I wanted to see could I grow root stock. So there's a root stock. All that's growing at the root stock. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it to turn brown and get hard and wooded, and I'm gonna try to root it, and then I'm gonna grow my citrus on top of it. Um, what it was it used to be a mild lemon tree that died that I left out in the cold, so I cut it down to the uh, root stock, and I say, well, look, I'm gonna get the root stock, let it turn hard and wooded, root it, then cut off limbs off my other smaller trees, and make bigger trees. So look here, anytime you want to know an update on an experiment, I will always let you know. Just any experiment I did in the past and you wonder how it went that I didn't update today, put it down in the comments. And y'all enjoy your day and keep experimenting.